The seat cushion on a plane is the real problem. There are always memes making fun of people who jump to their feet as soon as the plane lands. The people who are complaining about the toilet people standing up around them don't realize that some people who fly all the time can become very uncomfortable because the seat cushion on the plane is nowhere for a human body to sit for so long. I stood up as soon as the plane landed because I couldn't take the airplane seat cushion any longer. Some airline seat cushions are a little bit more comfortable than others, but unless you're sitting in first class, you're never going to know ahead of time how comfortable your seat is going to be. What if I told you that we at Passport Kings found a solution to tailbone and spine pain that occurs on long flights? Well, I have. And it's called the Comfy Life Gel Seat Pillow, and I'm leaving a link in the description below. And I rank this seat cushion as the best airplane cushion for airplane travel. And we're going to talk about it. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. I'm Rock Land, I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when picking your next vacation. Now, if this is a topic you like, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. Now, I feel like I'm in first class no matter which economy, cheap, bare bones airplane ticket I've purchased. Now I could just bring my seat cushion on a plane with me, and that's any plane. I especially use this airplane seat cushion for long flights. I've heard of neck pillows aiding people with their sleeping, but never a seat cushion. At first, I could not imagine how a seat cushion would help other than the increased elevation of my seat and maybe even eliminating some much needed leg room. I saw another passenger stand up and take a flight seat cushion with him. Being the curious explorer that I am, I walked right behind him and asked him, I was like, yo, what is that? I thought it was an inflatable airplane seat cushion. He explained to me that the doctor prescribed him a similar seat pillow for an injury he suffered a few years ago at his job. After using it to ease those back and butt pains at home, he began looking for the best seat cushion for plane travel. He said he was always uncomfortable sitting on airplanes for too long. This happens to many people because of sciatica, caused by lumbar and tailbone pressure, which is sometimes caused by not having a good seat cushion on a plane. I'm in debt to this man because I had also started feeling terrible in the lower spine and buttocks area. I believe it was a combination of flying too much and sitting in front of my computer researching, filming and editing my Passport Kings and Rockland Reacts videos. But you know, everything I travel with is small because I do my best to pack light anytime I'm traveling. But once I knew what I was looking for, I was met with a lot of offers competing with each other. The most popular brand that had all of the hefty advertising was called the Purple Seat Cushion. Butt pain stopped me from doing a lot of things that were bringing my career and goals to fruition. I decided to go see my very own chiropractor who diagnosed me with pyroformis from too much uncomfortable sitting. So now you guys know why Passport King's travel videos had slowed down to a halt. It had literally become a pain in my ass. <laughs> when it comes to portable seat cushions for airplanes, I was equally concerned about the price and quality, but more importantly the size. The purple seat cushion was made of great quality, but it was overly expensive and too big to fit in the little bit of luggage that I'm usually carrying. So now my favorite seat cushion for airplanes is this Comfy Life Gel Cushion. I am afraid of getting an uncomfortable seat, but I don't always want to cough up all of the money for first class. I travel a lot. More than 9,000 Amazon shoppers have given the Comfy Life Seat Cushion a perfect 5 star rating. The cutout design gets all of the weight off of your tailbone, helping to prevent soreness during long hours of sitting. The whole airplane pillow weighs about one pound, so it's always easy to carry on your airplane travels. Then unzip the velvety cover, throw it in the wash, and you've got a perfectly clean pillow whenever you want. A superior seat cushion on a plane can make the whole travel experience better. I found like three reviews from Amazon, so you don't have to just take my word for it. Someone named S. White said, I have already recommended this to my office mates that sit all day as well. I love it. And some advice, lock it up after you use it, or I guarantee one of your sneaky cute mates will swipe it. Glenda Thompson said, this has saved my life as one with lower back pain due to pinched nerve roots. And David A. said, I have herniated disc and sciatica for many years. This cushion allowed me to drive across state with little to no pain. Now there are some pros and cons for the seat cushion. For one, the size of it is not as small as I would have liked it to be, but it's a lot smaller than the others in its competition. I know I will have a lot of walking and standing in line to do. 
the best seat cushion on the plane has to be as small as possible. It stretches to the shape of my current bag a little, but overall it fits when I squish it in. This airplane seat cushion easily fits in my rolling luggage. What's cool is the best seat cushion on the plane also has a handle. Sometimes when I travel, I'll just carry it from my car to the gate, from the gate to the plane, from the plane to the cab, and then from the cab to one of these most expensive Caribbean resorts that you can check out right now in the link in the description that I'm putting below. So here's my little list of airplanes who currently have the worst seat cushions. First is Frontier. It seems to be an airplane seat pad covering hard plastic. Number two is Spirit. Their older planes seem to be from the Delta line, but all of their seats look very used. Number three is Southwest. The Boeing 700 is just too small, but their 800 class has great leg room, but I think they took a little hit as far as seat cushion comfortability. Number four is Delta. You won't hurt yourself, but make sure you never get stuck in the rows in the front or right behind the exit row seats. For some reason, they took out all of the space behind the exit row seats. Number five is United. I've never had a bad experience with their seats. Number six is JetBlue, and that's my overall most comfortable airplane seat choice. But number seven is first class or any of the planes that I just mentioned because you'll always get a comfortable seat in first class. But with my seat cushion, now I feel like I am in first class no matter which airplane I'm on or wherever I'm sitting. I think when they were making airplane seat cushions, they obviously wanted to use the lowest cost material that would be just good enough to get passages in and out without breaking a bone. A portable seat cushion is your best bet other than upgrading the first class tickets if you want to ensure your butt comfort. The fabric on top of this gel and sponge creation is easy to remove and easy to put in with your regular laundry. Like I said, different airlines have seats with different comfort levels. Also, each airline has different models of airplanes. You never really may know what you're going to get. Even if you're on the most luxury Delta plane, you may still get into one of the older planes with not as comfortable seats. I personally know what you guys that are interested in this are going through or what you may soon go through if you're sitting in uncomfortable places for hours on end. I found the solution and I hope you get yourself one too. The link is below. So now that you know how to get the best seat on any plane with an airplane seat cushion, make sure that you travel in peace like a king. A fast forward king.